Hello, today I will talk about headless mode for E520S drone. A headless mode is good for beginners. If you don't know how the drone works and how it moves, it, it could be a good idea to start using the drone using headless mode. What the headless mode does is it kind of removes one of the functions of the drones and it just allows you to move the drone in front of you forward, backwards, to the left and to the right and around the axis. Normally without a headless mode what the drone would do is if you use only the forward stick this one forward stick and backward stick and turn the drone a little bit it will move in the direction the head of the drone is looking to. So for example, I rotate the drone, I move it forward, it will go in the direction it's looking. And backwards the same, it will go into the direction the rear part of the drone is looking. Direction around the axis will def define in which direction the drone will go. So if you only use the forward and the backward function of the remote control and the right and the left function of the drone, then you can use this drone as a, like an RC car and forget about sliding to the right and to the left. And it's also another way to be learning how the drone flies. So you will just imagine that this is an RC car and you will go like, I go forward and I turn it a little bit and it will move like a car around the axis and that's how you would learn to use it but if it's difficult for you to understand how it works in the beginning then try the headless mode but before you turn on the headless mode it's important that you don't turn it on in the air because you may forget at which position the drone took off. So let me land it first. Let's turn on the headless mode before you take off. You hear the sound. Let's start the engines and fly it. So now I know that I took off in this position and I know what will happen in headless mode. It will go forward this way when I push the stick forward and backwards and to the right and to the left and look what will happen if I turn the drone around its axis now the drone is looking at me but still when I move the drone to the right it will go to the right when I move the joystick to the left it will go to the left so that's the idea of the headless mode now, this is also a good mode to control the drone in a different manner in situations when you want to make videos and photos it allows you to control the drone better use different angles for example I can start moving the drone around its axis I will be in one place and then I can go forward nothing will happen it will go forward independently from its from the angle the drone is at and I will bring it closer to me and nothing will happen it will just come to me but in the headless mode it's important to remember that you can't change your position you need to have the drone always in front of you if you put yourself in this position imagine I'm in this position and go forward it will go to the to the left in relation to this position that I have you always have to be in this position and the drone should be looking this way all the time when you take off so that's the logic of the headless mode if you have an object that you want to film the headless mode allows you to move in an interesting manner like this for example you can go like this and move the angle of the camera
So this is kind of a different motion that this mode will allow you to do. In a regular mode, it will be more difficult to do this kind of movement. So after you practice with your drone in headless mode and understand how it works, then you can actually start using a regular mode. It's also important to keep in mind that sometimes when you manipulate with the stick, as this is very sensitive, while pushing to the right or to the left, you may accidentally push it also up and down, so the drone may change the altitude while you're controlling it. But with time, you will get used to that and will understand how to control it better.